Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Last episode, we found our way here to Glitzland, where we promptly entered ourselves into a, uh, a fighting tournament of sorts. We only competed in one round. We faced off against the Goomba Bros. There was actually five of them. Quintuplets, could you believe that there? Poor mother. Uh, anyways, this episode, we're going to continue forth with the next round of the fight. We're going to reserve a match. You have to enter in on this Game Boy Advance style thing. And uh, Mr. Boy here, Mr. Showrunner, wants to speak to us. And our next opponent is going to be ranked 18. We are ranked 19, the KP Koopas. Now listen, son, in this battle, I don't want you using any of them special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle as its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a grandstanding. Uh, okay. Hey, dog, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to, to, to both of us. All right, so Koopas, we're going to not be able to use any special attacks, so I think I think Goombella's fine. She can do like the double head bounce, and Mario can do the double jump. Uh, and those aren't special moves, right? I guess he would have said something about no action commands, even though how would how would he know about action commands, right? He's he's inside of the game. He's not holding a controller. Either which way, though, this shouldn't be too difficult. So us, the great Gonzalez. We'll take care of it. The Shelver Seeds of Doom. Yes, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. We are going to lose the scrubs like you. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okie dokie, let us battle. Uh, there was five in the last one. There's only three here. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, quite literally. So first, oh, he's got one defense. Let's see if we can take care of the first one on the first turn. Yes, survey says. Okay, so he's done, and now we just have to worry about the paratroopa and the regular Koopa. Of course, we were able to execute the defensive action commands pretty well there. That's several consecutive decent action commands. Can you round us out, Goombella? Here we go, get another one and eliminate this guy. No action command, but no action command necessary at all. We're about to three turn this. Three enemies dealt with in three turns. Was that a special move there? We just replenished a heart due to our, our badge that we have. I forget the name of it, but we have a full slate of badges equipped if this is your first episode. Hello, welcome to the channel. I play video games, Nintendo games, really, and I talk a lot, uh, obviously, as you might imagine. But I put the most of my leveling points into badge power, and it's helping me out a lot. We've got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie. <laughs> Goombella, so ridiculously humble, of course. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We get three coins last time, we have four coins this time. Mario's ranking rose to 18, so we were at 19, now we go to 18. Are we going to have to do 20 fights before we can complete this thing? Uh, we were told that once we get to level 11, we can challenge the Masters, so maybe only eight, seven more? Hey, way to hand out a beatdown out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I could, but no. <laughs> all right, next round. Uh, presumably, we're going to fight all the people in this room. There's a Cleft and a bob -omb and a Shy Guy as well. Next one, ranked 17, the Pokey Triplets. Okay, oops. Oh, none of them fancy pants moves. Okay, I skipped over that, so I think he means just no special moves again. I hope that's what he means. Goodness gracious. We'll switch to Koops, because the Pokies, as their, uh, you know, <laughs> as their name would imply, they are in fact tall, and you need to hit out the bottoms of them so that they get shorter. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bud. All right, well, let's go, Mr. Security. You do have... Nice shades, though I can't imagine that those are helping you too much in the dim light of the locker room. Like, how are you even seeing anything? Sometimes I go outside with sunglasses on and the sunglasses are too dark. For our next battle, we've got the merciless execution of the great Gonzalez and the spiked terror triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the pokey triplets. Um, okay. <laughs> we can do this, uh, I guess. Go ahead. Get this. It won't hurt too much. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Get yourselves ready to battle! Oh, we're ready, thankfully. It's only triplets. This is our first battle with pokies. Okay, no FP for this at all. I mean, that's fine. We don't we don't need FP to deal with these boys. We can just do this and... And nice. Okay, cool. Uh, in Koops, you just do a shell toss? 
And he's leveled up, so he should do three. He did four! Even more! Okay, so we're able to eliminate these babies one per turn. Ooh, doing the action command there is actually a little tough. We took five damage in one turn from them. But the furthest most to the right one sacrificed one quarter of his body to fling it at us. Like, okay, don't hear me out. I understand competing, right? I putting your body on the line, right? Like giving it at your all to respect the competition. But man, you don't see me throwing my mustache at you. That's uncalled for, all right? Dude, you got some problems. You need to go talk to your therapist. There's no need to sacrifice your body to that degree because you're only going to lose anyways, all right? You were destined to. You should have thought of that. You should have grown a mustache, all right? That's that's really all we're trying to say here. If you don't have a mustache, you can't win this tournament. You can't win this tournament. We're the only people here with a mustache, so you know what that means. We're winning. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! We, we won. <laughs> cool. We did indeed, Coops. Uh, I'm so so glad that you were oh so confident with us. Here's your prize money, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you kindly. Can I have your glasses? Because those are probably nice. We receive four coins, one coin each. Can we get a little bit higher of a boost in our ranking? No, we just go up one to 17. No, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Oh, okay, well, see you later. Uh, we're going to just continue to fight, I suppose. Uh, hey, what's cracking, G-Man? You just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you! Get! Go! Oh, the shy guy. Welcome back. How many times do I have to tell you that the room is completely off limits? If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. And stop that too, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, I will ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? Ah, uh, fine, lady. Ugh. So you sneaking into the into the masters or what? Again, dude, man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Ah, oh, don't sweat it, B Money. Jolene can take that too and shove it up her nose. Ouch. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, K. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Where is he headed? Interesting. I don't know. Let's get another fight and this time not skip through the dialogue so that we can tell what the stipulation is of the battle because this dude the uh, organizer the promoter as he was described to us dead bones okay he has uh, yeah here we go a caveat to every single one appeal to the crowd at least once last time I appealed with my party member with Goombella and he had like a problem with that I think he was like man you got to be sure to appeal to the crowd be a little flashy and stuff and I don't know if that was just a scripted line in his uh, in his dialogue, like he was always gonna say that or what, but this time, just to you know, cross all my eyes and dot all my T's, I am going to appeal with Mario right off the bat. But we don't have a caveat with the FP, so I'm gonna send Cooper Coops, goodness gracious, all the way across with the uh, the super shell. You're not gonna get in my way, buddy. We are going to take the skin off of your bones. It looks luscious and Italian. It is Italian, and it's for me, all right? I won't tolerate that. Not at all. Let's begin by appealing to the crowd. Mario, ever the showman, wave your mustache at him. Very nice, thank you. Now, Coops, I lead you to Power Shell. Hold L, let's do it. Should be pretty solid. These guys aren't typically very strong. Yeah, we're kicking booty, man. We don't belong in the amateurs at all. We haven't even healed once. Look at that, we're still injured. There is a, a, a bed in the locker room that we can use to heal and I think now that I've like drawn attention to that it would make sense for me to do that <laughs> probably don't want to test our luck any further granted nothing has been super difficult thus far it probably stands to get more difficult all right so let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves let's not get too cocky presumably yes I'll say presumably another little bit of dialogue here man I heard you just knock some blocks off not bad double G dog you're the one real deal the realest I ever seen keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, you tell them that King K said, back it up, biz out. Oh, it hurts. What hurts? What's happening? Keep quiet. My foot. Oh, you're fine, just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Oh, ouch. Do you have a gag maybe? <laughs> Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy, out of the way up there. Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, 
This is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Shoot, I guess. I mean, we are fighting a blood sport, so it makes sense. Let's take a quick little nap, and then we will uh, take on the next challenger. I thought that they were going to continue to be members of this locker room, right? Like, since we had fought this guy, but still haven't dealt with the cleft or the bob -omb. But hey, there's, there's still plenty of more fights to come, obviously, so uh, maybe, maybe we will find our friends in there. And the next opponent is rank number 15, the Spike Storm. Are those the floating dudes? I'd have to imagine they are. <sighs> Shabalskis. And in this battle, avoid using any special moves. So we can use FP, but we can't use the, the star power stuff? Is that what I'm to gather from that? So shoot, what do we do then? No, 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 I wanna like check out this first, uh, check moves, yeah. So Gale Force attacks all enemies with a powerful gust of wind. That's probably our best bet, to be honest with you, because that, that, that wind comes from the deep innermost parts of her belly, and it doesn't actually involve her using her big old fleshy body on them, whereas Goombella would. And then Koops can't get up in the air. And if it's the enemies I think it is, they are very much in the air. So, eh, it's worth a try. We haven't used Madame Fleury nearly as much as we uh, we could or we should in any battle since we've used her. Or since we've actually, I'm sorry, excuse me, since we've gotten her on our party. Used her a few times, and she's been very helpful then. She's been even more helpful on the overworld. And it looks like I was wrong. Uh, it doesn't matter. We can, we're still going to use her. <laughs> Mario, darling, are you quite ready? We're gonna spike bomb you into the mission, punk. Get yourselves ready to battle! Alrighty, buddy. Well, I think that this is going to end up just fine. What's the stipulation here? Does it say don't use special moves? It doesn't say don't use flower power or anything. So, just, just hammer? I don't know, man. Is it not? This is not a special move, clearly. Oh, wow. No damage dealt. Son of a munchkin. What if we swap partner, then, to Koops? <laughs> uh... Ooh, three giblets. Okay, well, that's not helpful at all. We were able to block that one. Uh, they're both... What are they? Like, they, they extra defensivized? Hey, now! Easy! Crowd, goodness gracious, I've heard of throwing tomatoes, but throwing rocks? That's friggin' dangerous. Wow, their defense is astounding. What are we gonna do here? Um... We got sleepy sh softener? Lower their defense a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try the Quake Hammer. This might be a waste of FP as well since Koops didn't do anything. Yeah. No help at all. Oh, goodness me. Now there's three. Oh, boy. Dude. Dude with the rocks. Cease and desist. We're going to try this one more time. Okay, so you can hurt them when they're out of their shells like that. Uh, but, but they don't stay out of their shells for super, super long. I'm going to... I'm going to do the softener. I don't feel particularly great about that. I wanted to save that. <laughs> Didn't work on the front one, but the other three took a minus three defense. Presumably that's going to stay even when they're spiked up like that. Golly gee Williker, we are, uh, we're struggling just a wee bit. Nice. Well done there. Uh, let's swap around can't do anything here because the front one is freaking... Ugh. Okay, okay. Keep calm, LP. We can figure this out. Gosh darn it, we can do it. Uh, use Power Punch Mario. Make his attack stronger. We're using more items than I really would have liked, especially before we are, you know, in the in the big part of this fight. And then let's use Power Smash. Let's see how, just how much damage we can do with this one. Nothing at all? Are you serious? Are you serious? Man, maybe they're just invulnerable when they're like that. We are wasting their defense down. Okay. I'm getting sick of the rocks. All right. Power shell. Get some damage dealt to these fools. One damage. Yeah, it would seem that when they're spiked up, they are just not damageable. We finally eliminate the first one. Presumably that Lakidu there is going to throw that one out on this turn, and it's going to be another one. No, he tosses it at... Koop's poor forehead. Oh, Koop is dizzy. Shell toss. Please don't miss, buddy. We very much need you to deal some damage here. Doesn't eliminate it. Uh, Mario's probably too... Well, he's still huge, so maybe he can do one damage. Yep. 
He needs to be attack boosted to deal a single point of damage. That's terrible because Koops is about to die. And these dudes keep freaking spawning. This is bad news bears, if I have to say anything. Especially with our inability to, uh, well, use the star stuff. Like, we could use it, but then what? Th then we don't get the, uh, I don't know, like the rank up or something? Ah, <sighs> jibs. Well, let's see here. Any other items? We could we can make them dizzy. We could do the HP drain, which we actually might need to do just to complete this. So yeah, let's let's drain the front one's HP. Hopefully we can actually just kill it. Yeah, minus five, look at that, beautiful. We should have saved that for one of the strong ones. Dude, stop spawning, you little friends. All right, you're gonna make me sick. I can't handle it much longer. Thankfully, they don't seem to have a whole lot of defense, but they've got, I mean, a lot of HP. But they've got more defense than I can even muster up as a Mario here. Koops almost freaking dead. Alright, Mario, you're gonna hop on that Lakitu so that we can get him out of here. Dude. Man, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna get killed here. Not dead. I missed the action command there. Shoot, Magoot. Can't do anything here because this dude's all balled out. I'm just bounces off him. Lakitu, please do not spawn anymore. Uh, we have a life shroom, don't we? I hope so. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up, man. Do you have less health than six? You do. Thank goodness gracious. Thank goodness gracious. All right, now, Coops, we need to put these dudes to sleep, I guess. Put them to sleep so we can survive another turn. <laughs> Uh, I, I should have considered just healing Koops, to be honest with you, but... There we go, perfect. Perfect, this is good. Because Koops is the only one that can deal any damage to him. Now, Koops, again, you're the only person that can deal any damage, so I'm gonna have to ask you to just shell toss yourself right at the front one. We're gonna have to do that uh, for every other turn now until they're gone. Um, okay, well, Mario, there's nothing you can do. So I'll have you defend. Oh, shoot, Koops is in front. No! What was I thinking? We're gonna have to use the mushroom on him. Feed this friend a mushroom, Mario. Just shovel it down his nice little injured beak there. He's been injured since we came across him way back in Petalburg. Yeah, good thing we did that. Okay, the other two dudes are still asleep. Coops, shell toss there at the front one. Is that enough? They got two HP? They've got three HP. Isn't that heinous? Um, dang, we're using a lot of items. We still got Dizzy Dial. That's not going to help us, and I will just use the hammer. Might as well. Doesn't do anything, though. Man, we need a good hammer like nobody's freaking business. We really do. Mario's regaining HP, but that doesn't necessarily help us because Mario cannot help us fight these guys. He doesn't have a strong enough attack. First one's dealt with. We st we're not getting any like good experience points out of this, either. We have, we have accumulated a single, a single star point from this battle. Man. I definitely had the wrong uh, the wrong idea of it. Let's use the hammer. What can we do here? I mean, I could use a special, but we were told not to. I wonder what happens if we do. What happens if we do this? Hmm, I'm curious. I'm very curious, but I will refrain. What item would make the most sense? Uh, makes allies recover FP gradually for a brief period? That probably wouldn't be wouldn't happen quick enough. Um, you can recover HP gradually. Oh, you can make enemies dizzy. Uh, they're asleep for two more turns, so Mario will just have you appeal to the crowd. Ooh, charge! I forget about charge. That's the one I should have used. Okay, um, Mario, well, let's swap so Mario's in front. We'll have you charge up. We only have one FP to begin with. So attack power is up by two. That's pretty handy. That'll be enough for him to actually do some damage with his hammer. Definitely should have thought of that earlier. It wakes up the little spiny there. They're both awake now. One of them, shoot, Magoot, dude. We can't, we've got a pal block. Hey, thanks friend. Thanks a lot. Oh, Jibs, use that right freaking now, okay? Will that hurt the bald one? No, it doesn't. And it puts the other dude on his back. Perfect. Uh, now you, Coops, can you appeal to the crowd too, I guess? <laughs> Maybe they'll toss us a heart or something. Perfect. All right, Mario, you still have the boosted attack, don't you? Looks like it. He still has like the rainbow effect happening all over his bod, so 
Beautiful. One damage, and that's enough. That was tough. That was far more tough than it had any right to be. <laughs> but makes it so much so rewarding. We've got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. We won? Cool. Yeah, we barely won, man. That was, oof. That was tough, especially for still being in the amateurs, man. That was probably just my fault for not necessarily understanding what I should do in that instance and wasting all of my items. But I tell you what, if I wasn't ready for a nap before that fight, I'm ready for a nap now. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item. Yeah, sounds like some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you in fights. You ought to snack out on one. A hot dog? Well, I think that I would love a hot dog, but first a nap, because nothing, all right, nothing gets me craving a nice greasy sausage, all right, like a 20 minute nap. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta like, you gotta work up the energy to go eat that. So let's sneak outside real quick. Uh, last episode, when we made our way here, we checked out the hot dog stand briefly. Why are people screaming? What's happening over here? Oh, it's because the hawk is there. Man. Okay, well, you guys you guys enjoy yourself fangirling over that. <laughs> the rock hawk. He does have sweet hair, mind you, but don't worry, we'll be beating him. No bad, so very bad. Behave yourself, egg. The egg is misbehaving? Oh, the egg is... Not desiring to be cooked. No bad, come back, help, my aborted egg escaped. Somebody catch it. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this. To be honest with you, if it's still alive, can we even get this? Um, Let's see, what do we have here for, for friends? Maybe if Madame Flurry's blowing, we can blow the egg? No, I'm just blowing the people. Talk to you. Uh, does not even have arms and legs, and I can't catch it. My menu is going to have southern fried egg dog of tastiness, but now bad. Well, I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping, too. Don't just stand there. Help catch it. I am trying, bro, but I don't, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I may not even be equipped for this, to be honest with you. I don't know for certain I can do this. So I'll just... Oh, did we do it? No, we didn't. It just went up top. Most awfully bad. Come down from there, bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? We have to stand there with your mustache, find a way up there. Ooh. Well, I actually have an idea of how to get up there. Ooh. The egg sleeps today. Okay, well, <laughs> not the greatest singing voice, but it's fine. We finagled it. We found this last episode, and now I understand what it's meant to be used for. So let's just get on there by a pixel and see if we can make our way over. Wow, that's actually going to be way more difficult than I thought. Oh, man, barely. It was only the second try. Wakey, wakey, eggy. Now you wish for us to help you, you little darling egg. Mario, hon, what do you think we have to do? Uh, <laughs> let there be hot dogs. Now let's help the egg. A positively endearing choice, Mario. Not that I expected any less. We shall free him. You, sir, Mr. Proprietor, would you allow us to free this poor soul? Ah, oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, that's just lovely. You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Hmm? What is it now, dear? You wish to accompany us, you adorable thing? I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What shall we do? I, I guess it can follow me. You're all clear, little one. But do try to not get underfoot, all right? Um, break open. Very strange. All right, we now have a, a, an egg companion. You got an email. Okay, let's well, let's check the email. Is, is, is it is it an egg email? Uh, where's my gear? Rogue port today. The old toad settles in. It's come to light that after settling in the life at our inn, Toadsworth, age 60, has often been spotted in the company of Zest T, age 55. The notoriously finicky Zest T surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending time with my little total toads? The possibility such a comment opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Shop reporter go! Our focus of attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is money and girls are fickle, so easy come, easy go. You know? 
He fully understands why his shop isn't busier too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shot points. Cooking for rookies, today's yummy recipe, spicy soup. Steep a fire flour in hot water and presto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. Editors know, we've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, hot news in issue three, coming soon. Watch my report respiration. Okie dokie, well that is very nice. Uh, I don't I don't know that I wanna trek all over back to the great tree, so they're gonna have to take their double points. But the cooking is something that we do need to investigate. I think that toad that'll help us cook was the old woman who uh, we got the contact lens for not too long ago. But we're way far away from that right now. Uh, <laughs> we are way up here, ready to do, oh, thank you. I wasn't even certain this was the door, but you're moving out of the way, led me to believe it was. Let's, well, let's, let's check this first. Let's get who our fight is, and then we'll make a determination onto who to take with next. Your next opponent is Handed Overs. What's that, Shy Guys? Avoid using any of them flower points. All right, all right, no flower points, that's fine. I'm just going to use Goombella then, because Goombella can do the head bonk, which is four. But Koops can also do four, right? Goombella does have more HP. Um, he's actually kind of tough. I'm a little torn. Use Koops because his his shell attack is easier for me to to get the action command than Goombella's jump. Goombella's jump is exactly the same as Mario's jump, right? You just have to press the A button immediately before you actually land on the enemy. And while I do successfully complete that every so often, it's just not anywhere near as frequent as I'd like. So, that being said, it looks like the egg stuck back around in the locker room. Uh, I hope no one, you know, gets hungry for a quiche or anything. <laughs> Don't fry up my new friend, okay? Hey, <laughs> we're awful quick, awful agile. I'm just playing awful. Presumably they, they're going to steal our coins if they hit us. You know, as shy guys are known to do, they have, a, they have a penchant for thievery. We saw that way back in episode one. But I don't imagine they do a whole lot of damage. And they probably don't have a whole lot of HP either. I think we might be able to kill one of them in a first turn. <gasps> Did eight damage. Perfect, yes, yeah, so come here. Yep, he took a coin! My winnings! Goodness gracious, and they do three damage each. Okay, wow. That was rough. Uh, he took an item, the second, the third one. Big bandit. Oh, two big bandits, one regular sized bandit. Fascinating. Um, What are we to do here? We can't, can't use FP, he said, but we could use special. We might want to use sweet treat to replenish our HP. What do we have as far as items go again? I mean, nothing that's gonna actually really help us in that regard. So yeah, sweet treat it is even though it's only gonna benefit Mario. <laughs> oh, let's do this thing, let's get some faces. And, nope, not those ones, not, that's the one I want. Oh, I hit a, I hit a frigging poison off screen, I didn't even see it. I saw Mario there holding his head. Uh, any Mario faces, Mario? Oh, that one's like, ugh. How would they expect me to hit that? It was right by a poison shroom. We got five, which is better than nothing, brings us almost to full health. Koop was already at full health, of course, but. It's neither here nor there. Fire yourself at this dude, get our coin back. No, we have to kill him to get the coin. They leave. And we win? Well, that was easy enough, I suppose. Maybe we shouldn't have even done our heal. That was kind of a waste. The, look at them, they look all dizzy like, like we beat them. They just took our money and ran. <laughs> I guess that works, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna complain about victory, I suppose. And good thing our egg is still there. I was slightly worried that something might change. Uh, and we got six coins as well. So all we really lost was that shroom, which is kind of sad. Um, but I guess I wasn't in love with it anyways. At least not the way that Tech is in love with Princess Peach. Hey, you there, the latest, J-Dog. Uh, my boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check her out for me, man. Okay, juice shop, let's go investigate the juice shop. You've had interesting things to tell us in the past. I mean, the only real interesting thing has been this egg, I suppose. But, 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 that's better than nothing, all right? And I'll take anything that we can get at this point because I'm not even 100% certain that we're doing the right thing because it seems like a lot of fights. And maybe we should have talked to that, that big bird, the giant chicken when he was out here because this whole scene has changed now. I forgot to mention that once we moved back in after our little, you know, egg adventure, our egg sighting 
extravaganza. <laughs> uh, hey, these sisters are here. We're the rough and tumble battling the traveling district three. Boy, the major league match is gonna so energized. Our knuckles get white. Our hearts start pounding and we snack like no tomorrow. Oh, you see, I also snack, but not when I'm participating in a fight, so. I'll snack with you later, ladies. For now, let's go see if there's another lady in here. Oh, that's not a lady. This is a lady? This dude was hitting on the ladies. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. I wonder what the flowers that Mademoiselle likes. She is like a ravishing, but thorning red rose, huh? Oh, she is thorny. Uh-huh. What if we... Will you say something different if this, if this lady's out here? No. What kind of flower do you like? The first... Eh. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still hope he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Uh, what if I bring out the cabbage? He once called Goombella, like, a, a sexy cabbage or something. So here she is. No? Who are you talking to? Who... Oh, got a star piece. Interesting. I feel like we already investigated back here, but apparently not. You the... No? You're not the... No? Who is the lady? They said there was a lady at the juice bar that's new. But there's no new lady. There's just a new... Whatever that is. <laughs> Wig wearing dog. And no one new outside except for the... Uh, my traveling sisters three. Anyone over here? Just gotta cover all my bases just to make sure. No, it would seem not. Okay, well, I guess let's go back in and get ready for, uh, what is this, like, fight number eight? Next opponent is the Mind Bogglers. Interesting. No hammers against the Mind Bogglers. What are the Mind Bogglers? Uh, mm. Got nothing, uh, nothing to help me here, but I'm gonna bring out Cooper. Just on the off chance that they are all ground-based and we can attack multiple of them at one time since we wouldn't have that opportunity with Mario being absent his hammer, right? So fingers crossed that that was a good call. Um, <laughs> mind bogglers, what enemy could that be? What could be a mind boggler? Oh, these fellas from the, uh, from the Great Woods. Okay, well I am familiar with you and your saturation devoid enemy uh, nature, your, your lack of color. While it is neat, it doesn't actually do anything to help you fight, so. Hammer or not, I take care of you guys pretty pretty easily, I feel like. Uh, all right, Mario, jump on this guy, the Dark Puff. Does it eliminate it in the first one? It does, beautiful, and then Koops, you should be able to eliminate this Piranha Plant in the first go as well. And that just leaves the Piter, who's gonna spit at us, of course, as they're known to do. If we are able to successfully <laughs> successfully avoid. Very nice. Unfortunately, we won't be able to eliminate them on this turn, because I had 5 HP, and Cooper could do that, but who cares? We'll just appeal to the crowd. Ever the people's champion. Lay him at it, Coops. I keep calling him Cooper. It's so hard for me to not. I don't know. I've got Paper Mario 64 on the brain, I suppose, but he is a Koopa, and his name is Coops. Coops takes poops. <laughs> Alright, I gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. Poops, poops. We got ourselves a winner. Indeed, we keep on winning. That was, what, 13? So we just got one more until we get to 11. And presumably another little bit of plot development. When is this egg gonna hatch, by the way? We got to 13. Okay, so we have two more to get to 11. We gotta get to 12 and then to 11, and then that's numbers, right? That's how it works. The egg's excited to see us again, and we're excited to talk to King K. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you dig? After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, Double D-Jog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise you won't forget you once knew the King K. You're a good guy. I appreciate your company, King K. I'll miss you when you're gone. All right, the next fight, rank number 12, is the Punk Rocks. These dudes undoubtedly are the clefts. And please don't tell me no FP. No jump, perfect. Oh, that's just fine. Oh, that's just fine, yes, no problem at all. No problem at all. We're gonna go just like this. Me and Coop's got this handled with a hammer and shell. I might consider using a charge, to be honest with you, for my first one because they've got defense, right? The clefts, that's kind of their, their thing. They're made of stone, for goodness sake. They're going to be hard. But you know, this hardness can be overcome with a little bit of persuasion. You know what I'm saying, right? Persuasion in the form of my mallet. 
All right. Uh, three of them uh, are last experience with clefts. I think they had three HP, maybe even two. So these guys should have largely the same amount. And they don't even have the spikes. So it doesn't even matter. Let's just use a power smash. Forget it. We'll get a good gauge of their defense here once this happens. Yeah. And he does have a good amount of defense. The, the anvil falls. It doesn't do anything for him. It's fine. We'll use this guy. Can you do any damage? You do two, and you eliminate the front one. Perfect. We'll be able to beat this battle in the very next turn, then. And timing that up, barely. That freaked me out a little bit. No! His attack power by six. Jibs a libs. All right. I didn't want to have to use any more FP, but I'm going to have to because if that dude attacks, that's going to be bad news bears for me and my family because I'll die, and they'll cry at the funeral. Thankfully, though, we're able to two-turn it. Used a good amount of FP, but that was not against the rules. And we have a bed back in the locker room that'll help us replenish that anyways, so. It works. It works, dude. We're, we're progressing through this. This is a lot of fights, honestly. A little bit more fighting action than I was expecting before we get to the end of it. But I suppose this replaces, like, the dungeon of the area, right? Like, we went through the Great Tree a few episodes back, and then prior to that we did Hooktail's Castle and everything. So I suppose, to a certain effect, it does make sense. They've got to add some sort of, like time commitment and we're really close to getting a crack at the majors which happens at uh stage 11 or rank 11 and we're going to get to rank 11 next time yeah spent a little bit longer on this episode than i meant to today but we accomplished some things and i really look forward to accomplishing more with you tomorrow so thank you so very much for watching really do appreciate it and i'll see you then